Hi, and welcome down to the Devon Coy Pond on a Friday morning this morning. Been a terrible week this week, loads of rain, pond temperature's been going down all week. We'll have a little bit of a look at that later on the pond temperature. But today I'm here and I'm in my vortex and I'm not running the answer now at this time of year. So I've uh, got a brush pack in the bottom, but uh, the easy pods uh, still seems to be collecting a bit too much. So I'm going to uh, go a bit old school on the vortex, add a load of brushes into it and uh, see if I can catch a bit more in the vortex. Now, brushes used to be a way they used to do it years ago. I've uh, got two proper vortex brushes here and uh, I've also got some uh, gutter hedgehogs, which uh, to those of you that don't know, it's a brush that fits along your gutters, um, about four meters long. Um, it's a bristly brush um, and I just want to see if that'll do the job. Um, I've got about eight meters of that and three vortex brushes here, along with the brushes I've already got in the pot. So I'll give you a quick look in there in a second and we'll see what they are collecting before it uh, just goes out the pipe in the vortex. And then I'll uh, pack the filter full of these and uh, I'll uh, let you know in a week um, how well I think they've done. So let's uh, give you a quick look in here and uh, then I'll swap the brushes over. Get, I'll give it a clean out, swap over to these brushes in there with the pack still in the middle. And we'll uh, wind it up for the week and uh, see what happens. So I'll fast forward this bit probably, catch you in a second. So here we are, this is what the br these brushes have actually caught this week, which is surprising. They catch an awful lot and I've got the easy pot after it, but uh, I'm looking for low maintenance still through the winter. So I'm going to swap these out take them out put it they will go back in but I'll have a ring of brushes around the outside and they'd be a lot tightly tighter packed in there so let's have a go at it and see what happens
So here we go, all packed full of brushes. I'm going to give this a spin for a week and see what happens. So let's uh, put the bottom drain back on. As you can see we've had a little bit of a cool down this week we're down to 12.9 but it has been a horrible week uh, not a barely any sunshine this week so not much to get any heat into the water it's just been losing it all week several nights of frost but I'm considering myself quite lucky to still be at 12.9 looking at uh, what some of you chaps are saying from up country I'm classing myself as lucky So that's it, all packed full of brushes. There, it took uh, uh, four, 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 eight meters, just over eight meters of the gutter brush guard, and three genuine vortex, vortex brushes, which I think are about 2.4 to fill this one up. Um, I could probably jam a couple more brushes in the bottom if I had to, but uh, it's uh, fairly well tightly packed in there. and. Uh, I can't see any way to block up, so I'm going to give that a week and see what happens. So, old school. I saw this system in use probably over 30 years ago on a vortex after a vortex, so another pot after a vortex that had brushes in. And uh, that chap always seemed to have good water. So we go back to this low tech. The only electrical appliance on it is the pond pump. To wash it out, just drain the vortex down, spray the hose pipe in the top, back flush it one time or two times as well, drain that water out and clean the brushes, and away it goes ready for another week. But uh, I'll see kind of what uh, level the Easy Pod builds up to in a week on this kind of thing. I'd uh, like to take this second to thank all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers. The channel's slowly been growing, we're kind of getting there now pushing towards the 850 mark. It'd be lovely to get to a thousand subscribers before Christmas, especially in this cold snap when not a lot of people are doing video stuff on their ponds. But uh, I'm hoping to get to a thousand before Christmas. It'd be really nice. So if you haven't already, click the like and subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. And I'll carry on out here in the winter getting cold making videos for you. So I'll catch you all on another video in probably a week's time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.